I want them to feel pressured. I want them to feel stressed. I want them to feel anxiety. I want them to lose sleep. All right, they need to be thinking about it because that's what happens in the real world. Salads, I've got uh, Brandy and uh, Yulia on that. Glenn's already got the soup. Uh, Zach, Yovana, and Kyle on the entrees. What's the cheer? Do the same as all week. Worms? Do work worms. on three. Do, Do work, work on three. Ready? I like worms. One, Two. three. Do, Do work! work. Eat it up since it's cold on a burner. It's about really easy. Where's the tofu? Uh, I left it on the back of the prep table. I don't see it. Go find it. I say we wipe this bowl down nice and clean. Maybe take some lettuce to garnish the rim. Right? Maybe uh, diced red peppers or diced tomatoes or, or you know something chopped parsley. Make it look nice. Dressings are done? Yes. Green salad almost done? Chef. Somebody watching the sweet potatoes? Go. Go, 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 go. More movement, less words. Key to making a banquet table look good? All the lines got to match. We have one tray done, we have one tray cut. We can come back once we're open and cut the other ones, you know what I mean? Okay. Okay. How many are we cutting this into? We're gonna do, that's what we're discussing. We were gonna do five, we're talking about and that's six in here on each side. Never go odd, always even, so you can go center, okay. center, center. Five. So how many are you cutting? How many do we need total? Pieces. Pieces and 20. Huh? What number do you want? 150, because it's two full sheets. 12 times six, we're cutting two times. 144, Chef. 144. This is gonna be 144. When's it gonna be done? And on the tray. I need one tray set and ready to go. Caitlin, get a silver tray up front, put some doilies on it, you'll see it on the counter. Tray up those cookies. And then we're gonna cut the mochi. Is the oven something wrong with the oven then? Did you switch it to a different oven? No. I used the button one. Did you bring the little ones that are done? Uh, I put it in a rectangle. Okay. Uh, down there. Okay. 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 Okay.
We'll pick that out later if we can. Put them in racks. Come on, let's get them. Take them out of the racks. Put them on the counter. Oh, okay. Look, this should be full. You're going to get 100 people today at least. All right. And I want this, all these plates off the line, please. Taylor, one tray of turkeys, and then your bag goes all the way back here. What am I going to do? I'm going to put the other stuff on. Come on. Read the menu. Cookies, those are almost burnt. Did you taste one? Yes. They taste burnt? No. Let's get the water in there. Get those lit, it's five hours turn on, so we've got time. Work these guys a little bit, they're standing around. I want everything set, everything done, 20 minutes please, 10.30. Then they're gonna come up. Where's that tofu's at? Come on, get this place clean. Brandy, let's go, man. Get away from this serrated knife, that's not what you use for cutting pastry. It's a French knife, get a French knife from my station then. Or borrow one. You can't use a serrated knife, it doesn't cut through the bottom. John! Get over here! How are you going to saute bed when you got uh, ice in it? At 11 o'clock, I want a pan ready to go and just start rotating. Come on, we got no time for that. Then we got clean dishes and no food. Garnish it, come on. Garnish it, I said. Sprinkle some on top. What did I say we needed to cut out of those? We need 120 pieces minimum. Are you counting? How many pieces are you going to get cutting them that way? Huh? Out of one sheet. Then why are you taking it off? If you've counted it and you've got enough. Prep one pan and put it in the hot box. Actually, all of them should have been heated up, glazed, and then put in the hot box. What's your glaze? Maple syrup or something. Come on. How many shrimp do we have here? Do we need more? You got all the serving utensils? I'm trying to get some in. That should have been done first thing. Usually the glasses go upside down, guys. That way they can pick it up. Do we have our utensils on the buffet? How long did you cook it? Did you not taste it? It's raw. Get some boiling water going from that tap. Now, are you set in front where you can help in the kitchen now, or are we still running yeah. circles out there? Yeah. Okay, get some boiling water on for me to heat those carrots up. And I need a glaze. Maple syrup, heat it up, something. Okay, chicken's done. Get it out. That's got to be done. We fried those for a long time. All right, who needs help? Who needs help? I need help. Need help. John, quick, go to the bathroom. A real chef doesn't go to the bathroom. This is the line's not set up. All right? Hold it or piss your pants. Come on, chef. Come on, culinary guy. Can someone chop parsley? Yovana? Yes. Just rub, chop a bunch. Don't pick it and waste your time, please. We just need it done. We got oil up here. We're cooking the shrimp. We set it up over here. Is that all our chicken? Pastry. Pour maple syrup on them, put them in the hot box, and they've already been set. Is the hot box on? Sure. Is it hot? No. Yeah. The rice in there? Sure. There's some black on there. Here, quick. Sure. Don't make a giant mess. Mouth again? Put it over there. That's extra. It's not even on the menu. Put this one on the rack as well. Yes, sir. All of this up there. Yes, sir. There Come on, guys. You should be totally set. Did anybody taste this? How do you guys not taste your food? I don't understand. Just get it on the cart. Come on, man. Brandy, we don't have time for that. Look at the sure. clock. We're five minutes over already. I'm going to put half of it in here and half of it in the back and we'll fire that up. Right there, that's your station, bro. It's so all I can right just there. Put it in here, that's not like an ugly eyesore or anything. Nope. That's an industry, man. It is an ugly industry. 
How many pets do we have down? No abouts. We don't deal with abouts, you guys. It's exactly. That's how you control your count. You put 100 plates out, and when you do a, when the plates are gone, you know you've done 100 people. For the chef special, and we'll see where we're at with it. Where's the boiling water for this? Watch out, 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 I always tell them, this industry chooses you, you do not choose this industry. You may think you want to go into this business, but if you're not enjoying what takes place here and the pressure, the stress, the heat, the yelling, the happiness, the crying, the laughing, then you're probably not meant to be in the restaurant business. Uh, I never actually wanted to cook. I was I was uh, managing at Teddy's, and so we were just doing burgers and fries, and I wanted to start opening up like similar ideas, simple food and really fast pace, awesome customer service, and somehow I decided to pick the hardest working, least paid profession. <laughs> I was an entomologist at the University of Hawaii for what, 41 years. Pineapple research was my specialty, and I retired early so that I would still have the stamina to try to do this culinary program. I was into food until high, like late high school and then I had to pick a major so I was like oh, okay culinary seems fun and then after that I got more interesting I was like oh man it's, how do you make this and how do you make that? Well, I really enjoy baking and this is some like of a passion of mine. I didn't like my previous job with the government and I wanted to try to find something better. I enjoyed cooking for people and that's what's always made me happy. I went through many majors, but I found out that I wanted to be a chef. And so I'm in this class to become the best chef that I can be. I decided to become a chef after seeing how much good food my parents make. I took the culinary classes because I heard they were very stressful. And for some reason, I really wanted to go through it. I wanted to be stressful. I wanted to be on the edge. I wanted to find out who I am. I'm here because I want to be here, not because I have to. 